Hello, I'm Ilya from Eocortex and today I will show you how to set up the servers in Eocortex. First of all, you need to open the configurator and go to Servers tab. Here you will see the list of available servers. Then in the right you will see the info about the server, IP address, port, SSL port. You can change it right here and apply the settings. If we go down, we can see the info about this server. This is the same info that we can see in the status info application. Then, here we can open the diagnostics about this server and see if there are any problems in their status. In the next tab, Licensing, we can see the info about the license installed on this server, the ID of this key, the product type. If this is a trial license, we can see the uh, license time limit, the language, the available uh, options like REST API, Active Directory and so on and the number of licenses for the cameras and for the modules. Right here we can also update the license. Here we can also see the list of cameras in this server. So the name of the camera, IP address and also the role of this server. For example, if we have a multi-server configuration, the role can be not just main. Also, uh, here in the information we can open configure and see the deeper settings on about your server. First of all, here we can see the uh, drives available for your recordings. So we can see the local drives and if you connected the remote drive, network drive, uh, in operation system it will be available here too or you can mount it in this option. There are several options for each drive so not used if you don't want to use this drive for example the system drive archive plus database so the video recordings and the metadata from the analytics. Archive only, backup archive this option allows you to use this drive only if all the other drives will fail. Backup archive plus database, database only and duplicate. Eocortex uh, records the archive such way. It uh, splits the video stream into portions and distributes these portions between all the drives in the system. In, in such way, if you uh, lose one of the drives, for example, it will fail, uh, you won't lose all the recordings. You just lose some frames, so you just get the video stream, but with the lower FPS. In the duplicate option, all the drive will be duplicated on one of your drives. For example, you record the archive on all the drives, local drives, and you are using the network drive as the duplicating drive. Then, network. Here we can enable or disable the RTSP connections, ONVIV connections, and so on. Mobile devices. Here we can enable or disable it if we need to connect to your system with the mobile devices or web browser. SSL certificate. Here we can check the information and also upload a new certificate. After that we can apply the server settings. Pay attention that if you apply these settings your server will restart. These were the settings about the server. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye.